Celibacy versus Abstinence Before we move on, we need to draw a clear distinction between celibacy and abstinence. Most people think they're the same thing. They're not. Abstinence is simply refraining from sex. It's the absence of something with no greater meaning behind it. To us, celibacy is refraining from sex because of a vow or faith. It's abstinence with a purpose. You might abstain from sex involuntarily because you're not in a relationship. Celibacy is never involuntary. It's always the result of a conscious, deliberate choice. That's an important distinction. In The Weight, we're going to talk about celibacy because to us, celibacy is something you go into with your eyes open fully expecting to gain something from the experience. It's about saying, I'm becoming. On the other hand, in our culture, abstinence is something grudging, something forced upon young people, for example, by well-meaning parents or well-meaning ministries. It's about saying, you will not. But there's not always purpose or learning associated with it. That can be dangerous. Consider the news story in the spring of 2015 about a small high school in Texas with an abstinence-only sex education program that experienced a widespread outbreak of chlamydia, a sexually transmitted infection. That's one tiny piece of proof that just saying no to sex or pretending the sex drive doesn't exist isn't an adequate defense against pregnancy, disease, or worse. When we talk about celibacy, the last thing we're doing is telling you to ignore sex. Just the opposite. We're suggesting that you acknowledge its power and your own desire. That way, if you choose to go without sex, you'll do so with your eyes open, understanding the realities and risks of having sex and not having it. Celibacy and the weight complement each other.